Hey, you guys, I'm back from the forest now. <laughs> if you didn't watch my live video earlier, you can go ahead and find it on my story. Um, when I was out foraging for these, these are called Linden Arrowwood Berries. Okay, I foraged these from Fairmount Park just a little while ago. Okay, so I'm gonna just process these or whatever. I'm gonna pull them on off the little sticks they on. Then they kind of a pain because they easy to get off. I'm just putting them. I'm gonna show you them. Putting them in here like this here so they to be easy to rinse. They come off easy enough, but sometimes a little bit of the stem stay on, and then I gotta go back and re like get that little bit off. Otherwise, they they pretty easy to deal with and come off these little sticks. Ain't no big thing. So anyway, I'm not gonna bore y'all to death while I pick all these little berries off, cause I I sure got plenty to get through. All right, I done picked all the um, berries off these little stems or whatever. It's a pain in the ass, I tell you what. It might be why people don't eat these, like, you know, grow them and cultivate them on purpose for food. I don't know. They ain't that bad, but this, just getting all them little, the little sticks, they stick like, uh, whatever. Never mind, it don't matter. I got them in my pot. I'm finna um, turn this on low to medium medium heat or whatever they sour but they're not as tart as cranberries thank goodness because who want to eat that hate cranberries too tight too goddamn tart all right so point is i'm finna add about a cup of sugar to this and get it going all right y'all so my arrowwood berries i got them boiling i added some water and some sugar. They smell real good. But that's all that's in there is water and sugar. See how that done, that's turning? So I'm going to make a, a jelly out of this and not a jam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend these berries a little just to extract more of their flavor. And then I'm going to strain it. So I'm going to have a nice jam and jelly. Is the difference is in preserves or compote. Um, you got if you got bits of the fruit in there, it's called a jam or whatever. If you don't, if it's just made from the juice, then it's jelly. As usual, in the Vitamix we go. I'm gonna put it on low, just on one. Try to get that. You know, put those berries a little. Now, of course, I'm gonna strain my liquid back off. I added two cups of water. Alright, so I strain my berries and I, you know, I like to press mine down or whatever. If you do this though, your jelly will come out cloudy. If you want it crystal clear, they sell stuff you can put in it that it help. Or don't press your fruit. Just leave it like boil the fruit in the water and then strain it. Don't be pressing to try to get every bit. Because they make it cloudy and foamy for some reason. But again give a shit about what the fuck it look like okay i want to know what it's tasting like that's what i want to know and also you know i'm trying to get every little drop so all that pretty shit ain't that ain't for that ain't for my kind that ain't for me or my kind of folk just want something you know good and cheap and tasty you understand that you know you could like yo I highly doubt anybody gonna go to the damn forest and get these berries. I don't even know why I'm showing you this shit. I don't know. Okay? You ain't gonna try the shit. Okay? I don't know why. I don't know why you ain't gonna try the shit. It's... Let me... I'm gonna put this in the compost bin right quick. Alright, so that's what I got left after I strain off the berries. See that? See how it's cloudy a little bit? And it's foamy. Never mind it. That don't affect the flavor. I don't care. I'm going to taste it real quick, y'all, before I put my pectin in there. I put sugar in it already. I'm going to get a spoonful here. See what it tastes like. It smells, I don't know what, like. Oh, my God. Y'all, got another one! It's awesome! 
All right, y'all, it's time to add the pectin. I'm going to put about, I don't know, an eighth of a cup up in here. What is this? It's a third of a cup. I don't know. I'll put some in there. And stir it up good now. This tastes so good. I kind of want to add a little bit of vanilla just because I think they will go so good together. But I almost want to leave it plain because it's new and it's a good flavor. And I just want to say like, oh, here, taste this delicious berry from out the forest. Okay, y'all, and unlike the last jam video I did, I forgot to put the vinegar in there, so I'm going to put, um, I'm going to just put a tablespoon and like a half. I don't want to taste them vinegary. It's just the um, vinegar keep it from growing bacteria or mold. So, that's it. Taking my jars out of my, my water, and I think I am going to add just a little dollop of vanilla because i love it so much you want to add vanilla to um a recipe like this at the last minute before you put it in your jars because vanilla is volatile it'll cook off and then you'll lose the flavor anyway i think somebody at my event on tuesday might get one of these jars so i keep telling y'all about it if you in philly or nearby and you can make it you want to get yourself a ticket to this Tuesday Tastings live in Germantown. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to pour these on in here. I'm going to leave this headspace. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I ain't boiling enough jars now, y'all. Oh, shit. And then I'm going to put my lids on like this here. Alright, and then I'm going to put my little on. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lower these back into my water bath and that should make them last about uh, 12 to 18 months you want to leave them in there for 10 minutes I'm not even gonna bother um canning this one because I'm finna eat that I ain't got to worry about it last and I'm gonna put it right in the refrigerator if you don't want to do the water bath and um like actually preserve the jam if you're just going to eat it pretty much right away, put it in the refrigerator. It should last for as long as jam usually lasts. I don't know, a month, a couple months, whatever. I don't know. So, none of my shit usually lasts long enough to be finding the fuck out what the shelf life is. God damn it. I'm finna eat it. Faster than it can go bad. So, I'm going to just put a lid on this, pop it in the refrigerator. As a liquid sauce, it tastes like the heavens. In fact... I'm going to take my spoon because this is my jar right here. I put that vanilla in there now. It's starting to jam. See that texture going to turn me off right now because that's not it. Y'all know I don't like the textures. Yeah, it's already congealing. And I ain't no jam off of a spoon kind of broad, you know? to tart but despite me not liking the texture and jelly off a spoon it fucks with that, that flavor I don't know where you're going to find flavors like this at the market or otherwise I mean you can get up with me I can get you some of this jam if you want some know what I charge you for but because I got a forage in my nasal pain in the ass to get off the stems a little bit not too much but more than you feel like it probably all right anyway that's that hope you learned something for today that was our Friday's foraged forest finds remember to like comment and share my videos and follow me if you don't already I mean who gonna be cute as they gonna be in a homemade apron and freaking homemade jam from Friday Forge found fucking arrowwood berries from out the damn Fairmount Park. Alright. Remember, be this to yourselves, then be this to everybody else. Bye.